Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, today we have some real link cameras and an NVR. So lots of cool stuff coming your way. Full disclosure, real link sent me this stuff free of charge, but you will get my honest and fair review. If you don't believe me after this video is over, make sure you check this one out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the RLC 1212A. So first we have the pamphlets and the sticker for the window and such. Nothing too exciting there. Um, a little bit of hardware. Looks like a seal for around the cord to make sure the water doesn't get in. And a few screws. We have an ethernet cable. And then we have the camera. And this is a pretty solid, like very solid. So really nice feel in here. So you have the Rio Link. RLC 1212A. And we have the connections on the end. Looks like Ethernet and a power connection. And I'm not sure what. Oh, that's a power connection. And this one would be. Looks like a reset button. And here we have the Ethernet. It's power over Ethernet. So we got that right there. That clips on pretty easy. And the DC power. Is there as well. So first impression is very solid, um, you know, like nice metal case here. Everything's metal, so it feels like it would withstand the elements. We're gonna put it up underneath the soffit, so that should be a, a great setup for this camera. This is the location where I'm installing the RLC 1212A, and um, you can see we already have our Ethernet cable here that's plugged in inside the house, and you can see I. I do have the labels on both ends, so when we were running the cables, it was pretty easy to tell where they go and what would need to be done with each of these cables up in the attic. So I'm going to go ahead and put the waterproofing cover on the Ethernet cable, and then we'll bring the camera up and connect it. All right, I have the pieces together to waterproof it and weatherproof it. I'm going to connect it to the camera, and the connection is as easy as that one clip of the Ethernet cable. And then I will connect this and make sure it's all sealed up. All right, everything's sealed up. So it's time to go ahead and feed the cables up into the soffit here. And then I will hang the camera. A huge advantage of connecting the power ahead of time is that you can move these around and make sure they go exactly where you want them to go. And this is really going to give us a great view of out front of our house. Look at that. It's like our whole front yard. I screw this in. See if we can keep it in that area. I tighten up the connections. And I think that's going to be great for the RLC 1212A. So, I mean, you can see immediately how awesome this picture is and how it just brings out all of the details. You can see the blades of grass. Everything is crystal clear here. All right, I'm in Home Assistant and I'll show you what it's like to set up the automation. So I'm going to go in and look for the entity and the state. We can look for the front office camera person. So we can look at that and we can pull that in. And when that goes to detected, we can send a notification to our phone. So in this instance, I have sent a notification to my phone and I'm reusing, you know, some of this. So I'll just change this to front office camera with the title person detected. And then we can change the um, entity ID because this will send basically a little uh, screenshot essentially of the camera and it'll allow us to go into the camera and expand it to um, an actual um, you know, live image here. So this is a snapshots clear. So let me go in and find the snapshots clear for the front. So I pulled this in before I had the NVR set up all the way. So um, need to go in and rename some of these because the camera one is actually a duplicate and um, definitely that's the front office camera here, but we'll, we'll use this for now, knowing that that's the correct camera that we want. And I went ahead and saved that. With this one, um, the one thing that I'm going to do at some point 
is add in some type of helper for this to determine you know when the last time this actually sent a notification and probably change it to not you know always send notifications so we don't get notifications every you know two seconds maybe it's 10 minutes an hour whatever we decide on i can put that in the and ifs and um, then have that also be one of the um, then do's in this instance too. one of the actions it takes is to like toggle that or or something along those lines update the time whatever it is that I choose to do but that's how I'm going to do it long term but for right now for demonstration purposes um, I think this works and I'll just uh, run this so you can see what it does so when I run it it pops up and you can see you know we have the notification and I can hold down the notification and get that live image uh, really quickly on my on my phone right through the home assistant right in the notification notification bar so that's pretty neat and a really clear image and really great setup there I also want to highlight some of these specs obviously it's power over ETH ethernet and it's an outdoor camera so it's IP67 has two-way audio it's a 12 megapixel ultra high definition. It has 24 seven video recording without a subscription through the SD card or the NVR. Has a powerful spotlight, color night vision, and the AI detection for vehicles, people, and pets. All right, now I'm in the Rear Link app and you can see immediately that it identifies there's motion and a person and it went away for a second there because I wasn't moving and then I moved again. So we have this person detected and see immediately detects a vehicle and detects me all the way over here in the driveway i'm going to say this is probably 75 plus feet away at this point and i can continue over this way and it continues to detect me quite some distance away detects the car and it stopped detecting me so a really long way i don't know maybe a hundred plus feet away uh, that's where it stopped detecting me as a person and i'll come back across and you know it picks me up pretty quickly again this image is really clear for how far away everything is and i could you know zoom in and make this larger too if i wanted to but definitely provides the image that we need and you can see everything very clearly so really happy with this one and I um, hope that you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe because I have more real link videos, including a whole in-depth about the NVR, some Wi-Fi cameras and some other things that are going to surprise you.